Welcome to another podcast from George Eastman House, International Museum of Photography and Film. I think Steve McCurry, because he establishes a relationship with many of his subjects, he's not taking grab shots of these people. He asks them if he can take their picture. And I think that comes through in his photographs. He is taking the time to study his subjects, to, and he certainly knows about the cultures that he visits, and he uh, establishes a relationship which allows the, this interaction between photographer and subject that comes through in his work. Uh, I think that sets him apart from a lot of other photojournalists. I'm Jean Verhulst. I'm Associate Curator of Exhibitions, and I manage our traveling exhibitions. And we're on the road with George Eastman House. Today, I'm going to talk about the Face of Asia, Steve McCurry Photographs. It's one of our traveling exhibitions of about 100 works that has been traveling for the last couple of years. And I would love to talk about some of the photographs that, that are in the exhibition. One in particular is uh, a lovely image of the south coast of Sri Lanka, taken in 1995, of these amazing fishermen who sit on top of poles just with their toes wrapped around uh, a, a small board and their uh, net casting into the surf. Contrasting that is a very beautiful image of uh, in Kashmir, India, taken in 1996, of a flower vendor poling his way through a moss-covered stream. Another image is very stark contrast to the beautiful polling or the flower man is this crowd of young women in Rajasthan, India, taken in 1983, and, you, and their capes are blowing in the wind and you just get the feeling of being right there in the middle of that dust storm with them. Steve McCurry is a Magnum photographer. He belongs to the Magnum organization. He has been photographing for over 25 years as a photojournalist, although he considers himself more of a person who records the life of everyday people rather than war pictures, even though he has been to many wars. And uh, he photographs more what's happening in the background of those wars, what's happening with the people um, in the case of um, Afghanistan, for example, he uh, smuggled himself in early on and before the Russians appeared on the scene. Um, he wore the garb of an Afghan person and was successful in taking lots of photographs and had to sew the film in his outfit to get back out of the country. That was a time when he photographed this young woman, which became his early iconic image. Uh, it's called The Afghan Girl. It appeared on the cover of National Geographic magazine in the 80s. And the interesting part of this little story has to do with the fact that he decided to go back and see what she, wh what became of this young woman who was a refugee in uh, a refugee camp. So he um, connected with a lot of people going back uh, and uh, discovered this woman some 20 years later. She has now grown, she has uh, children of her own, and her face has changed quite a lot, and she's very shy, and we have a picture of her in her later life, and it also became the cover of a National Geographic magazine later on. It was the story of found again sort of story, so uh, this, this person at least survived from the refugee camp experience, which is great. Even though he's in areas which are either in the middle of a war or right at the aftermath of a war, he decided not to show the gore, the, the destruction of war. He was more interested in letting us know that even though there's a war going on and that people still live their lives, and those lives have interest and character, and, and he wanted us to know about that, that there's still beauty even though uh, it might be a war. Foreign country. 
Face of Asia Steve McCurry Photographs is an important traveling exhibition. It will be on view at the Shah Jah Museum in the United Arab Emirates in April 2008. I hope you can check it out. We hope you've enjoyed this Eastman House podcast, and if you'd like to find out more, visit us at eastmanhouse.org. This Eastman House podcast is made possible by the generous support of Midtown Athletic Clubs, a leader in upscale athletic and sports resort management with facilities throughout the U.S. and Canada. Visit us at midtownclubs.com.